Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend of Friday, July 3rd through Sunday, July 5th of 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the weekend of the 3rd through the 5th, that does, of July, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, yeah? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so all y'all time stampers, I'm gonna need y'all to get your time stamp and fingers ready, because we got story time, y'all, and it's and it's about to be a doozy. All right, this is gonna be a long story. Um, uh, twin flames, front and center, especially you, divine masculine. Mm -hmm. So, I had a little bit of an experience last night. Um, I'll start by saying this. I, I, I was feeling myself pretty hard last night. <laughs> okay, so I started I started watching, um, I've started to kind of make it a little bit of a habit to watch morning coffee from that day, the day that I recorded it at night. Like, because first of all, first of all, I really, I, I crack myself up, y'all. <laughs> and I always have, I really always have. Ever since I was a little kid, you know, I was, I was kind of a loner um, and very, you know, standoffish, very shy, very nervous, very, and I was weird, right? And that was part of the reason why I was kind of a loner. Um, and, but I, let me tell you, I entertained myself, man. I used to make, I, ooh, when I was a kid, y'all, I would, and I had so much fun with just me, myself, and I, okay? So I, I find myself very entertaining. Um, but also, I've been watching it because it helps me understand your per oh my god, this is crooked. It helps me understand your perspective. It helps me understand what you guys see so that if there's anything wrong, like right now, my Virgo rising is showing because my this looks crooked, but it's fine now. Um, but I want to see if there's anything that I can change, if there's anything that I can fix, if there's anything that I can do better. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. Um, I never used to be able to watch myself. Uh, as, uh, unless I was doing something like extremely soups, extremely silly or something like that, I couldn't watch myself. I couldn't, and I was a I was a performer when I was a kid. I could not watch myself perform. I had terrible, terrible stage fright. And even while I was doing, when I was doing uh, Divine Conversations back in Brooklyn, you know, when I first started, I, I really, I could only take so much of watching my own videos before I had to turn it off because I just, oh God, I couldn't stand myself, right? which I understand is an extreme contradiction to the fact that I was just telling you that I, I abused the hell out of myself. But I think you, you guys understand what I'm saying. Okay. But ever since I've gotten to Puerto Rico, I have found and grown and cultivated and noticed this appreciation for myself. Like, I love myself so much more at this moment in my life than I have ever loved myself at all. Okay, um, and part of why I'm there, part of why I can be in this mental space right now is because I have actually finally did the thing that I needed to do all along throughout hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes throughout centuries. I chose to honor myself instead of choosing to honor what everyone else around me said I should be honoring. Okay, so that's where we get into this story here. So twin flames, front and center, yeah? get cozy. Yeah. I was feeling myself hard last night. I was, I watched, I think I watched like, I got through two and a half episodes of morning coffee from the week. Um, and by the end of it, I started to feel romantic energies. Now I am not opposed to that. I am not adverse to that. I am, in fact, working on manifesting a relationship because that's what I want. That's what I've wanted all along. That's what really helped me kick off this twin flame journey because when I was with my ex-husband, it was towards the end of our relationship, and I was saying to myself, I just want to be with someone that loves me for who I am, wants to be with me for who I am. I don't have to be anything more or anything less than who I naturally am. Well, cue spirit. Oh, really? Great! Activation. 
And now I'm, I'm, now I'm consciously on this twin flame journey in which we are challenged to become whole, to love ourselves, to accept ourselves, to, re to bring back the fragmented pieces of our being and be a better and more whole version of ourselves than we have ever been, right? Because we cannot have someone love us unconditionally. We cannot experience unconditional love, which is basically the driving force of the twin flame journey. We cannot experience unconditional love from another person if we do not have it for ourselves. So as I go into this story, I want you guys to keep in mind that in no way am I blaming this person that has represented the divine masculine for me. In no way am I trying to shame him. In no way am I trying to out him. In no way am I trying to uh, sully his name, throw dirt on his name, throw negative energy. I'm not using this as a platform right here, right now to bash this person. No way. Because quite frankly, he's going through the mirror image of what I'm experiencing, right? Because we're mirrors, right? But the reason why I'm sharing this is because sharing is caring. I did it. I'm, I know, I know. But also, but also, that's part of what Sylvia was saying, too. If you haven't checked her out, please go check her out. Sylvia of uh, Enchanted World of Twin Flames. She was saying, look, we're not... And even Emily Emily of um, Indigo Moons. No, I think her channel is called Indigo Activations now. But Emily, Emily Davey of, of, of uh, uh, Indigo Activations, I believe. Even she says it. Emily says it as, you know, the feminine that will not be silenced. No, we will not be silenced. Sylvia says it as... We are here to be an example, to bring light to this so we can end the cycle. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Okay, so last night, feeling myself, watching all kinds of videos, and then I started getting into a romantic energy, which I do entertain because that's part of the manifestation process. That's part of how I got here. I wanted to move for the longest time, and what I did was I focused on the good feeling aspect of what I wanted to do, where I wanted to move to, and all that stuff, and I just let the universe do the rest of the work, right? It's called the law of attraction. Okay, so I'm feeling romantic energies and I'm, I'm, allowing, I'm allowing myself to feel through that. And then all of a sudden I start hearing his name. This person that represented the divine masculine for me or someone that I was calling my twin flame, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Hearing his name. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Check it out, homie. You need to get the fuck up out of here. You need to, yo, yo. Straight up and down, y'all. I was saying to him, or this or this energetic specter, I guess we could call it. I was saying, get the fuck off of Puerto Rico and go back to Brooklyn. I'll say it again. Get the fuck off this island and go back to Brooklyn. Because you are not welcome here. Whoa, Eric, that's a little harsh. Hold on a second. Hear me out. I did not come here for you to follow me. And think you can chase me down and, do uh, and, and, and puppy dog eye your, your way back into my life. Hail to the motherfucking naw. I am done. I am done entertaining this energy. I am done giving you chance after chance after chance after chance. Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Quite frankly, buddy, if I never see you again, I wouldn't care. And it's not that I hate you. And, and, and a lot of what's coming through here, it's not, I'm, I'm not really just a, a directing that this at towards like this one person. This is actually, if you want to look at this story time anyway, look at it as the divine feminine speaking to the divine masculine. Okay. This is, uh, don't, uh, don't take it personally. All right. This is energy communicating with energy. But quite frankly, there are so many people within the divine feminine collective that have straight up and down cut this motherfucker off and never want to see him again. But they have every right to. They have a divine right to, Spirit just said. Because the time has come for this toxic cycle, cycle to stop running. And so, um, I was even going so far as saying some shit like, uh, uh, well, I did say, okay, I, I was saying, look, I understand if, you know, you're organically on your path. I'm organically on my path. And all of a sudden, something, bring, something brings you down to Puerto Rico. Or I end up back in Brooklyn one day. And we, you know, we cross paths and we see each other. Ooh, okay. But don't you dare. Don't you dare 
for one second think that you can manipulate this situation and come down here and be like, oh no, how did this happen? Uh-uh, buddy. No. Because I am in the process of manifesting a partner, manifesting the romantic relationship that I know that I want, need, and deserve. And you are not it. And quite frankly, what made me so angry last night was the fact that he, or we'll say the divine masculine, the energetic resonance of the divine masculine is literally standing in the way. Check it out, buddy. I, ooh. You cannot manipulate someone lifetime after lifetime, completely reject them lifetime after lifetime, run them through the ringer lifetime after lifetime, and then when they finally let go of your ass, and when they're finally done with your ass, you cannot think that you can stand in their way. Talk about narcissism, right? That is what the Divine Masculine Collective is doing to a lot of the Divine Feminine, and we do not stand for it. We will bulldoze your ass out of here. Remember when I said, oh, actually, no, so a lot of you don't because a lot of you didn't get to see this. This was in the after hours reading that turned into um, a twin flame reading on my ch on our Patreon. But one of the messages that came through for the Divine Masculine was that you, it, buddy, are in fact dealing with the rise of the Divine Feminine. And if you think, <laughs> if you think we've risen Oh, honey, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's only beginning. <laughs> Ever heard of a woman scorned? Oh, yeah, that's real. Whether you're a physical woman or a feminine energy, that shit is real. Oh, but wait, you guys, the story is not done yet. So, okay, fine. So I'm ranting and raving. I'm on. I'm on this. All. I'm on all this hoopla shit. Right. I'm pissed. And I swear to God. I. I, I swear. My neighbors could probably hear me, because I was not. I, my ass is loud as hell. Okay. Puerto Rico is a really perfect place for me. <laughs> but I wasn't trying to be quiet about it either. I was making the declaration, and I will get into. Uh, I, I spirit is going to remind me. There is a really important part. But um, oh well, we're getting there anyway. Okay. But anyway, so then, so I'm in my room, right? And it's dark. I had turned, I had turned all the lights off. I was watching something. And all of a sudden, by the way, you guys, oh, they're building something across the street, which is significant. Construction. I moved in here. I moved out of Brooklyn where they were doing, where they were, they tore down one building 144 and are now rebuilding it under the number 148. Okay, whatever. But then I moved here and now my neighbor is doing construction on their house. Can you hear it? The building is happening. This is a good thing. Okay. This is a good thing. All right. Anyway. So last night, the lights are off. I'm ranting and raving. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm making the decorations, right? And all of a sudden, a firefly. There are fireflies here, guys. And I thought I saw one once. And I was like, no, no way. There are fireflies here? Oh, yeah. There are fireflies. And it, it came into my, I got, it got into my apartment somehow. And it was flying around me. Like, literally, I saw the little flash of light. And then it landed on my leg. And I, I didn't know what was on my leg. I just felt something crawling on my leg and I injured it, unfortunately, but, but it got stuck in like <laughs> my crotch because <laughs> it was, it was, it was nighttime. I was in bed. I, I mean, I sleep in my underwear. So like, whatever. And it got, it got stuck right in my crotch, like right where, right on my thigh here, right in the crooks of my thigh. Right. And, and it was lighting up. And that's what, and that's where I was like, oh, no way, no way, a firefly. That's amazing. So, okay. So I get up to go turn on the light because I wanted to see it for real. Like I really wanted to see it. And guess what crawls across the floor right past my foot? None other than that, than that nasty ass karmic water bug energy. Now check it out. I had taken some steps to keep them away. Like I have, um, the, the census came by, uh, in the beginning of the month, they, they asked a bunch of questions and then they left us 
individuals with like a care package of food and stuff. And in that, in that care package was bleach. So I've been taking this bleach and putting it down my drains, especially in my shower, because my shower doesn't drain all that well and the mosquitoes were getting in and I didn't want them to set up shop, right? Mm -hmm. So so I had taken some of that bleach and I had poured it down my shower drain, I poured it down my, my bathroom um, sink, I poured it down my kitchen sink. Well, I guess I hadn't done it consistently enough because at the same exact moment that I was dealing with this bullshit karmic energy between me and the divine masculine, there goes a water bug. Oh, if y'all thought I was pissed before, man, I was lit. Oh, hell nah. I told you to stay out of my house, didn't I? I told you if you come in my home, you lose your life, didn't I? Oh, joy. <laughs> so now, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm about to kill your ass. And so I pick up the, 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 the bottle of, um, I have a bottle of Clorox bathroom, Clorox bathroom cleaner and I'm spraying it because I thought, oh, it's bleach, it'll kill it. Mm -mm. That didn't really do the job. It just stopped it in its tracks. And so I'm, I'm chasing it because it, because this is my, this is the, the, the door right here is the door to the studio. Right next to that is the bathroom. And right next to that, you go into the rest of the apartment, right? I'm chasing this, this, this nasty ass thing from the bathroom into the living room, spraying it down. And I see another one. Tiny. But that one got away from me. Not this big ass one. And I notice, okay, so the spray isn't really doing anything. You know what? Let me grab my shoe. I grabbed my shoe, man. I smashed the, I smashed the life out of that thing. Keep that karmic energy away from you. And okay, so then there's, here's the, and, and I told you guys, this is going to be a long story. Here's the second, here's the other part about this, because it seems whenever I see, lately, whenever I see water bugs, I also see spiders, okay? And I love, I love the spiders. Don't get me wrong. Like, me and the spiders are cool, man. We can chill. We can hang. Just don't bite me, please. But like, we can hang. I like the spiders, right? And so I'm, I, I had already killed that water bug and I'm just like, right? And I'm, <laughs> I'm laying on my bed and I look up and there's a spider on my ceiling. And I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. I didn't quite understand why the spider was around at that point. But okay. Um, and so the night goes on. I ended up, y'all, I was so, I was so heated. I was so lit. I ended up finishing the last bottle, the last of my bottle of rum, which there was really only like one drinks worth left. But uh, man, I, it was 10 o'clock at night. I had already stopped for the night. I was about to, literally about to go to sleep. And then all this shit happened, right? So now I'm lit. I'm heated. I finished the rest of my rum. I smoked another cigarette. And I, and, and, and I was, I, I swear to you guys, I was in the mirror, looking at myself in the mirror saying, don't you dare get in my way. Stay the fuck away from me. Stay all the way away from me. You and your mother. We don't have to get into that. But stay away from me. Because I've had it. I'm done with this. We are not playing this game anymore. Cycle over, done, complete. You go your way, I'll go my way. When we both die, we can go check it out, just check it out in the in the in the on, on the other side, and we can talk about it. See if we can hash it out. See if we can try make another make a, try something new. But let me tell you something. If we try something new, it is not going to be like this anymore. This cycle is done. Okay. So that I was I was in the mirror in the mirror, looking myself straight in the eye, saying all this shit. And I swear to God, I scared myself because the, the look in my eyes was so powerful, so strong. And many would tell you I had crazy eyes, but you know what? You damn right I had crazy eyes. I might even have it right now. Okay, all right. So that happened and I knocked out. Like I, <laughs> when I tell y'all I fell asleep so hard, I fell asleep so hard and <laughs> woke up at, hours later with my lights still on like, whoa, okay, let me just turn these lights off and go back to bed, right? Okay. So I wake up this morning. Oh, oh, okay. So about the bug. So I smashed the bug, right? But I got real petty about it. I got so petty, y'all. I got so petty. And I said, you know what? I'm going to leave your stank ass right here as an example to the rest of you. <laughs> and so I did. And I went to bed. And I got up this morning. And I was, I, 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 
I slept hard. I did I did have a dream. Um, it wasn't about my twin. It actually involved my sister. Um, and actually, she and I, they have similar names, by the way. <laughs> and me and my sister, my physical sister, we don't really talk anymore because a lot of shit went down and we just we just haven't been able to, to to reconcile yet. But we have been doing so in my dreams lately. And my sister and my twin have very similar names. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> but my dream involved my sister last night, which was cool. Um, and then... I woke up this morning and I um, uh, I was just really groggy. Like I I must have been doing some real work in my sleep last night because I woke up, man, and I was still kind of pissed. But I was laying in my bed, and all of a sudden that spider moved. It like it moved. It like scurried into my line of sight, and I was like, "Oh, the spider." Okay, spider, what are you trying to tell me? Okay, spider. But then I was like, all right, cool. I have to get up. I have to start doing morning coffee. I get up and <laughs> I go into my kitchen. <laughs> and you remember that roach, the, the water bug carcass I had left on the floor? Well, yeah, it was now swarmed in a colony of ants. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. I should have seen that coming. Um, which is okay. Like, they were, they were straight up eating that. They were, ooh, they were loving that. So, okay, fine. So I got that cleared up. Unfortunately, some of the ants had to die. I did try, I took the carcass and I threw it outside and I, my spirits, my soul said, just let them dissipate. And I was like, okay. But then I didn't get all of it. Like they had, they had, they had like dispersed and were running all around. And then, but then they had re, like recolonized on like these two spots that I guess still had water bug carcass on it or guts on it. And I'm like, damn, y'all are really hard up for some water bug carcass. And Spirit goes, well, hey, it's a good source of protein. I was like, you know what? You are absolutely right. So unfortunately, some of the ants had to die. But it's an ant colony. There are billions of them. Uh, um, they will survive. It's not like I went into their colony and I was like, nah, you're going to die now. No, they were. Okay, fine. But then I started to understand what the spider symbolizes. And look, the spider is still here. I'll show you. Here is right there now. Say hi to the spider. Hi, little spider. Oh, wait, there you go. Hi, spider. If anybody knows what kind of spider that is, would you tell me? Because I've been trying to figure it out. But anyway, how do I? Uh oh, wait. But anyway, so this is what this is what the spider is representing. Okay. It's the, we it's, the, it's the web that you weave. That is what spider symbolism is. The web that you weave. And this is where we get into what we were talking about, what I've been saying for the Twin Flame Collective, and anyone that resonates with it, really. You cannot send mixed messages to the divine. And they're going to test you. They're going to play with you, okay? You can tell them, oh, I don't want this anymore, I'm done, blah, blah, blah. But then turn around and check their Instagram, check their Facebook, ch whatever, check their social media. No, you can't do that. Because I thought, wait a second, I thought you didn't care. I thought you were disconnected. I thought you were done. So now why are you, why are you checking up on them? You also can't allow spirit to influence you, to coax you into it. Oh, just take a little peek. He wants to show you something. I don't give a damn. He had plenty of chances to show me things before. Why is he going to show me now? What does he really have to show me now that's really going to change anything? And if he's not coming to me saying this shit, you damn well better believe I'm not following through with that. Okay. It's the web that you weave. So if you're really done with this, if you really want to put this cycle to rest, then put it to rest in all ways, shapes, and forms. And that means blocking the energy when it comes through, trying to manipulate you, trying to tell you, I'm sorry, trying to tell you, let me back in, trying to tell you, I love you, I'm that, this, I'm that, I'm that, 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 that. Nope. All the way by. Get out of here. Go. Scurry away, you little cockroach, you little water bug. Get the fuck out. And don't come back. Because we are done here. I've learned my lesson. And now it is time for you to learn yours. Timestamp. 24 minutes, 20 seconds. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the actual reading. Well, that was a reading. But let's get into the cards. Let's see what the cards have to say, okay? Oh, hold on. Hold on. 
high spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of July 3rd through July 5th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. I'm giving this five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. five. You know what? We're going to do seven shuffles. Six. Oop, whoop, 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 whoop. No. Six. And seven. Here we go, kids. Oh. At the bottom of the deck, we have death. I keep hearing karmic energy is around you. Karmic energy surrounds you. Uh, no. And I'm asking, is that myself? And as I'm, as I'm working through this, I'm looking outside and I'm watching a spider web float in the wind. And no, spirit is saying, no, it's your divine masculine counterpart. Karmic energy surrounds you. It is the web that you keep weaving over and over. And the Divine Feminine is done with it. She needs to be done with it. Because nothing can come of this situation, you guys. It's never, it's never going to change. As long as someone is still dealing, uh, uh, dealing with and tangling their lives with karmic, toxic, nasty, narcissistic energy... They are not going to change. There is no hope of union coming together. You both have to work through that. You have to wake up individually on your own and work your way out of it. Neither one can help the other. They have to do it on their own. The twin flames, yes, are two parts of a greater whole, but they are still individuals with free will. You have the Knight of Cups here. You have the Six of Swords. You have the Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. You have the Five of Cups, which is in reverse, with the Eight of Pentacles, which is in reverse. Look at that shit. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. You also have the Five of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You have the Hermit and the Two of Pentacles upright. We have the Divine Feminine here with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Following her heart doing what she knows is best for her, and quite frankly, for the sake of this union. I mean, I know, I know there's a lot of rage, there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of fury coming from the Divine Feminine Collective, but we haven't lost all compassion, Divine Masculine. We haven't. The problem is, we're so very done with this. And actually, a lot of the rage and a lot of the anger is directed at our own selves. I cannot believe that I let this sorry ass motherfucker do this to me over and over. And God damn it. How stupid am I really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real. 
But we also know that what's best for the union, what is best for the sake of this union is for us to walk away and leave this behind, Six of Swords, and also to follow our hearts, Knight of Cups. It might sting, it might hurt, it might cut you real deep and bleed you dry. But quite frankly, us moving on and following our hearts and finding love in a place where we are accepted, where we are loved, where we are honored, where it is a reciprocal situation, is absolutely the best thing for this union, as it currently stands. Cue, to the, cue the Divine Masculine. Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. You can't do this to me. You can't leave me. Rah, 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 rah. I did so much. For you. What, did, what the fuck did you do for me? Other than tear me down and make me feel like less of a human being just because it didn't fit your image. Now, the reason why that happened is because the Divine Masculine is in that very space himself. Five of Pentacles. Not feeling worthy not feeling good enough, allowing himself to be broken down by the system, to allowing himself to be broken down by social conformity, allowing himself to be anything less than who he truly is because of social conformity, societal pressure. And thus he gets defensive and thus he, thus he goes on the attack and blah, blah, blah. And The web that you weave. Eight of Pentacles, which in this deck, which is the wild unknown, is represented by a spider weaving a web. Because the Eight of Pentacles is about consistency, is about hard work, is about, um, ooh, sacrifices even. It's about doing, the, it's about the doing. It's the physical action of creating your craft. And it is in reverse here with uh, the Five of Cups in reverse. And quite, frank quite frankly, quite frankly, I'm about to be such a bitch. Get the fuck over it. You don't get to cry over this shit anymore. You don't. So go ahead, go in your little corner and cry your little eyes out. Because what you really need to be doing it's facing yourself, the hermit, and finding the balance. And Spirit just said, finding the balance between masculine and feminine energy within the physical form. And that's why it's coming out as a two of pentacles. You don't get to cry about this anymore, Divine Masculine. Because you have consciously, time and time again, you have consciously created these circumstances yourself and the feminine was just left to deal with it left to pick up the pieces left to pick up the pieces physically left to pick up the pieces of her heart emotionally look i'm not trying to say that the divine, that the divine feminine is is immaculate that she's some saint that she hasn't done some pretty shitty things in this process too trust me we have but the whole time, we were always connected to love. When we acted crazy, when we acted stupid, when we acted shitty, we were acting that way because we were in love. And we didn't know what the fuck else to do. But you, Divine Masculine, you manipulated. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Swords. You manipulated. You took advantage of that. Anybody that's around you that doesn't think you're psychic, doesn't think you're magical, doesn't think you're a motherfucking wizard is such an idiot. Ha <laughs> ha! Because you are. You're just as magical as the Divine Feminine. <laughs> the problem here is you know that. And you used it to your advantage. And then you turned around and you told the Divine Feminine or called the Divine Feminine crazy. You went to all her, all of your friends and maybe even all of her friends too. Holy shit. But you went around and whispered into people's ears. Yo, don't believe her. She's fucking nuts. 
And now all that karma's coming back to eat your ass up, isn't it? Let's get some clarification, shall we? It's interesting how Spirit is now using the weekend edition of Morning Coffee for Twin Flame messages. This happened last weekend. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should have the weekend edition of Morning Coffee, if necessary, be centered around Twin Flames. And then I can still do a, a reading on Sunday for the Patreonic um, Collective. Oh, yeah, I like that idea. Okay, one more shuffle. And then we're going to look, we're going to start clarifying. Um, I want to look at the Divine Feminine first, and then we'll look at the Divine Masculine. And anyone out there that's trying to say that, nah, why are you calling him that? These, these masculines ain't divine. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Stop, stop doing that. I mean, there, there, is some real, there are some real toxic energies that we're all working through here. Okay? So don't. Don't. All right? Great. Divine Feminine. You've got the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Let's look a little deeper into you. Okay, you have the Hanged Man, Divine Feminine. And then your two cards came out. Oh. <laughs> ah! Your two cards came out, but they flew out on the pile that's over here, which is the, the collective energy between the two twins, right? And they came out in reverse. Honey, it's the Five of Cups and the Page of Cups in reverse. Yo. All I can say is, bye, Felicia. You are not, you look. I'll tell you something. The Divine Feminine ain't crying over this shit any longer. Nope. And, and, okay, Five of Cups in reverse. And she's not accepting any apologies or reconciliation. I mean, yes, yes. That is, that has been, still has been a big message for me. Um, in, in the realm of, like, spirit is, spirit has been saying to me, this person, your divine masculine, needs forgiveness. You need to forgive him. You have to. Because the, the more you hold on, hold a grudge, the more you don't forgive, the more you're just keeping this energy, this toxic karmic energy between you flowing, okay? You have got to cut the cord in the realm of you need to work on forgiveness. That's your only job at this point, right? And I even did, like, I, I, I think... I was clearing out the deck after doing a reading and I was clearing out the romance angels and I started connecting to romance energy and, and, um, uh, let go of your ex came out and okay. Yeah, sure. My ex-husband, uh, 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 your divine masculine too. Cause this is a, this is an energetic relationship, right? And so I ha I, okay, good. So forgiveness. Yes. But she's not taking you back. She's not taking you back, dude. So you can just stop. Tr I know somebody out here is calling me a narcissist right now. I hear it. And you know what? That's fine. But maybe you should look at your own narcissistic tendencies. Takes one to know one, didn't it? Okay. But check it out. The divine feminine is not taking you back, bro. She's not doing it. Not in this lifetime. For many of us, for some of us, for many of us, not happening. Because she has learned from this situation. She has gained the change in perspective that is necessary. For those of you that are in this part of the collective that are resonating with this, you understand full well that you can't take this person back under these current circumstances. They are going to need to do so much work, man, that like their plate is so full, their roster is so full that, I mean, if they get through it in this lifetime, whoa, that's amazing. I'm not saying it's not possible, but let me tell you, we are not waiting around for that to happen. No. Okay. I wonder who is that? Is that, that sounds like George. George has a higher pitch. It might be, it's either George or Paul. Lester has a deeper crow. Anyway, I'm talking about the roosters. Okay, so Divine Masculine, you're in the Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here, right? Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, you have the four of wands. And so what this is saying to me here is, okay, so there might be some energies out there of some masculines throwing the same type of anger that I'm throwing out here, right? The first two cards... <laughs> the first two cards are the Six of Wands and the Chariot. Now, on the surface, normally this would be a good thing, right? Yeah. Victory, recognition, fame, fortune, being in balance and, and with yourself and moving forward quite quickly. But you know what else the Six of Wands represents? Saving face. Mm. And the Chariot here represents the momentum you've got going. You are fully ingrained in this, aren't you? That's fine. Yeah, you sure are. You sure are. That's fine. What else do we have? Three of Cups. Ten of Cups. Knight of Cups. Five of Swords. <laughs> All of this beneficial energy. Six of Cups. The Chariot. Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. All of this beautiful, beautiful beneficial energy is flushed down the drain with this. The Five of Swords. Why? Because you are doing this. You are getting your fame and fortune. You're getting your Ten of Cups. You're getting what your heart desires at all costs, including your feminine. And that's what you've been doing for lifetime over. Like, yo, straight up, you guys. Sylvia really described it the best. But uh, but from what I've gathered, yo, the masculine has been selling the feminine out for centuries. Eons. It's using her energy. Stealing her energy for their own gain. And then selling her out. Denying her, telling her, she, telling her that he doesn't know her, he doesn't want to know her, telling everybody that she's crazy, calling her a witch back in times where you got burnt for that shit. <laughs> mm. Five of Cups in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Hermit and the Two of Pentacles upright. Divine Feminine, the Empress. Mm -hmm. Burden, Ten of Wands. Soulmates, Divine Connection, Past Life Connection, Nostalgia, well, all that. Six of Cups. The Magician and the Five of Wands in Reverse. Strength and the Six of Swords. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> the Divine Feminine is like, yo, how? Oh, I just picked up the Empress just to, just to hold this up and look. Oh, baby, this shit is over. <laughs> this shit is so over. Spirit just said, you're making the right decisions, Divine Feminine Collective. We couldn't encourage you more. You finally got it. And you know what? Spirit, there was something Spirit had been saying to me in that whole two years where I was really in the thick of this Divine, Fe Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine collect co Connection. There was something that Spirit had been saying to me over and over. One of my guides, actually. One of my guides, uh, one of my guardian angels or guides or whatever was saying this specifically to me. And it was a masculine voice that was saying this to me. But he was saying... You're making the same mistakes as you always made. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? What mistakes? Letting your divine masculine back in. I get it now. So, this relationship, Six of Cups, is burdensome. And it's so burdensome at this point that there really is no fixing it. Like, there is no... There is no point 
in going through this and trying to weed through all these burdens and see if we can clean it up anymore. There is absolutely no point. All you got to do now is just say, fuck it, I'm done. The magician in reverse and the five of wands in reverse. I don't care if it's not popular. I don't care if there are people out here talking about, uh, you're supposed to be with your twin flame. It is not that, it's mm, not like this. So no, I don't give a damn if you don't like what I have to say about this journey. You can call me crazy all you want. I don't give a flying fuck. I know what's real and I'm not manifesting this shit any longer. Goodbye. We are cut off now. We are having the strength. <laughs> We're having the strength to move away from this. To cut the karmic ties. To move from rough waters to calmer waters. And to move towards abundance. Because no, contrary to popular belief, your twin flame is not the only person that you can have a lovely, beautiful, romantic marriage with. If that's what you want. A family with. Quite frankly, you guys, and this is why, this is why we need to not be so hard on the divine masculine and we need to not blame the divine masculine for, for, for every, 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 everything, even though he's got a lot to take responsibility for. The reason for this twin flame journey is for us to cut the karmic ties, for us to bring this cycle to an end. That is the reason for this twin flame journey. Not ultimately so that you can be with the, your twin flame and, and, and ride off into the sunset happily ever after. No! There are karmic energies between us. There are karmic ties between us that must be cut. And it's funny. Sylvia said this. She's like, if, if it weren't for this relationship between the divine masculine and the divine feminine, many of us wouldn't have even incarnated on earth. And I say, and, I, and, and when she said that, I, my mind exploded because I kept saying, I, for the longest time, I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? Get me off this godforsaken planet, man. Get, I can't stand y'all humans, man. Y'all piss me off. You're fucking, like, are, are you really that blind? I couldn't, for the longest time, you guys, I couldn't wait to get out of this planet. To get out of this incarnation because some of the things that are happening on this planet right now are just plain ridiculous, right? So when Sylvia said that, she was like, if, if, if it weren't for this relationship, many of us wouldn't have even come here. And then I look at how my life really just it, it, it embodies, encompasses the twin flame energy. I have always strove to fuse darkness with light, even though I, I never really told many people about that because I would catch such flack, right? I am a feminine energy in a man's body. And I have always said, I always felt like a woman in a man's body. But I'm not trying to get a sex change. I don't identify as transgender. Because I really like being male. I really like being physically male. But the thing about that is, on this planet, at this time in human history right now, it is so important for us to have individuals that look one way, but express another way. So that we can start to get comfortable with, with, comfortable with the fact that gender norms are bullshit. <sighs> I'm going to leave it there, guys. Yikes. That was a doozy. <laughs> that was such a doozy. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. I love you all, even you, Divine Masculine. I love you guys too, but you, you got to get your shit together and get out and cut all this karmic shit, man. And, and don't think for one second that your Divine Feminine is going to sit back and allow you to dump on her anymore, because she ain't. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>